I thought that maybe learning some art acts will make me a better artist and will make my artwork be even better. That's why I decided to go on TikTok, scroll to all the art acts hashtag and find the five most interesting art acts. So today we are going to test them out. Hopefully some of these are actually new to you as well and you learn something today or maybe realize that they're really not working and they are not worth your time. One thing I love about those art acts and the reason why I chose them is because they really use things that you have around the house so I didn't really need to go and buy anything. So for this art act what I need is two paint to compare one on the super cheap side and one on the artist grade side. Ice in sugar, I know. And then the usual one, just some brush, palette knife to mix, water, and nothing else. With this first art act, the goal is actually to take a very cheap paint and thicken it up. And the reason why is because uh, as we will compare right now and hopefully is exactly how they state, the cheapest paint tend to be more liquidy, more fluidy, a little bit more transparent. While with the most expensive paint, you should actually see the quality and Honestly, it's flowing nicely, it's doing the job. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to see. Uh, the cheapest one, it feels more gummy and it has texture. So I will not actually need to thicken this up, but I guess it depends on which cheaper paint you are using. Actually, this professional Winsor & Newton, it feels more slidey and creamy compared to this one but we will try to thicken this up even more and see if there is actually any difference for what we see seen right now. I did see a lot of time this trick be done with cornstarch sometimes people only use cornstarch sometimes they mix it with water never tried that myself as well but I'm curious to try in the future but I saw this person try icing sugar and it was something completely new for me and I was really, really intrigued and curious to try. Of course, there's never any perfect ratio, so I don't really know what I'm doing. Maybe this is an illusion of my eyes, but it really looks like the color got a little bit darker and I actually feel like it got smoother and more liquidy, like the professional one compared to this one. Let's slide. It's granuly. I think I need it to mix more or maybe, I don't know, it never goes away. We always try to save some cheap paint, but I don't know. It really looks like the color got darker. This one to this one. It feels darker, doesn't it? Let's see what happens if instead we try with a uh, already professional paint. So icing sugar does seem to make the paint slightly darker. I notice in this case and in this case, and it maintain is fluidy, slidey consistency. Maybe with a few more granuli because of the icing sugar. Even if it's supposed to make the paint thicker, the 
low quality paint ticker. What he makes, in my opinion, is the paint goes slightly darker and more fluidy, so it can actually slide much better on the paper. So I would say if you have a very gummy cheap paint like I have I think sugar is actually really good act to to smooth your paint and actually let it work much nicer but you will have to mix very well and I think it will always maintain their sort of granuly texture in my opinion this is a 6 out of 10 art act it makes sense, but not the kind of sense that it was supposed to make. For the second act, we stay in the acrylic world and then we change it to a different medium. What you need for this is some sort of tape, white paint and another color paint. So the purpose of this goal is not to let your paint smudge underneath the washi tape as it often happens. So we're going to compare two different case scenario. One where we don't put the white paint underneath and one where we do. So basically how it works is you lay down your washi tape and then to block the paint to go underneath the washi tape, you should use white paint on top of the washi tape first and then do your artwork. So let's try. While we wait for the white to dry, um, go ahead and place some color in here. without adding any prime underneath. While well, we're waiting for our white paint to dry before to add our next layer, we can go ahead and try the third art act that involves some color pencil and a way to make blending color pencil much easier for you and for me. And yes, I do need all the help I can get when it comes to blend color pencil. It's really not my strong suit. So what you need is, of course, some color pencil, but you do need also some good old olive oil and a cotton bud. So let's go ahead and on a scrap paper, we're going to try blending without olive oil and with olive oil. All right, so this is how my blending looks like. Of course, I didn't commit myself too much, but yeah, I will not go too far from this one. So while we keep this one as our test run, we dip our cotton buds in some olive oil and we try to, uh, I think maybe I dip it too much. I don't know what is happening, but it's, no blending. Uh, it's shiny and it's becoming transparent, but I don't see any blending. Now, I may have a dip in too much olive oil, so is this my fault? Let's see. Let's do it again. You know, sometimes heart acts they show in TikTok is just, you know, to grab the attention. And maybe she's been meticulously blending. But yeah, I don't see any blending happening. Is it happening? I am moving some color around, but... Eh, 
for me it's no but our color pencil art tax is not over there is a more hope for people like me they don't know how to blend olive oil is not the only trick there are more and we are going to test this second one that involves some nail polish and this is going to be our fourth art act of the day so here i have some basic nail polish remover and let's move uh, dip our cotton bud in here okay i'll put just a little bit to begin with is they both taking the color out this one it seems to be taking the color a little bit more i feel like it's blending much better isn't it the orange looks pretty but it does leave this weird patina on it and i think i have to turn the cotton bud around to not let the red to smudge from here to here but yeah, that's, this looks much better compared to the other two and compared to my own blending. So I will say nail polish, it's hope for us. So yeah, maybe I'll give it a 5 out of 10. I feel like I'm learning a lot today. Our next art acts before to go back to our paint, uh, we need a kneadable eraser that is dirty so if you have a clean kneadable eraser good for you keep it that way but if you have a dirty one this may be the hack for you so apparently you just need a little bit of dish soap place it on the kneadable eraser and work it and you should go away the dirt well i'm definitely spreading the dirt so i'm gonna put some more and i need a bowl of water I don't know what was supposed to happen at this point, but definitely it's not getting any cleaner and I feel like I may have ruined my needle eraser. So I stop here before it become lost forever and it may have cleaned it to 1%, no more than that. So I consider this art arc a 2.5 out of 10. All right, time to go back to our last art arc our second art arc and the white is not completely dry but that's all the patience i am have been gifted with so let's spread our green and then we can remove our washi tape I feel like I put more green in here, so I'm going ahead and add a bit. Uh, this is washi tape number one. And there is a very small amount of smudging, but not too bad already. And this is with white my washi tape has smudged a lot on its own but i would say is a perfect line so maybe this is a seven out of ten because it's true that sometimes it can smudge much more than it did in here and here the line it's really nice and clean 
So my Harsi friend, this is all the time we have today. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I would love to know which of the sack you try yourself personally or which one it convince you the most of the one you've seen today. I have a few more art acts up my sleeve that I see on TikTok and YouTube and Instagram. And if you want me to do another video similar to this one, just let me know down in the comment. Thank you so much for watching. I could not do this without you. I'll see you next time. Bye.